Hi everyone. So today we're going to be looking at the J4S1 problem flipper from 2019 from the CCC Canadian Computing Contest. So in this one we're given a grid and a string of instructions. So now these instructions will either be H or V. If we get H, we have to flip this grid across the horizontal center line. So 1 and 3 would switch in 2 and 4. Well, if it's V, we have to switch 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, so across the vertical center line. And basically, we get a list of these, and we have to do each of them and output the final um, grid. So let's move over to code to see my solution. So the solution isn't really too complicated. I start off by making a function that takes in a string called the name of file. Okay, here. And then I open this file. I read all the lines. Lines, okay. And then I set up my grid. And this is the exact same grid like we saw the original picture. Okay, now, 4j in my string. So because this reads all the lines, it'll return, like, a list of potentially strings. So if I go, let's do this one. You see how each line is a separate string. So then I go 4i four, uh, four in j, so 4i in every single one of those strings. So I'll go through every single character. And if that character is v, I'll flip it across the vertical center line here. Well, if it's h, I'll flip it here. And how I do that is I take this position and this position, and I switch them here and then I do the same for the bottom row so I switch these two and then if it's H I just take this and this and switch it well if it's well I also take it for the other side and switch them and then this will go through the whole like the whole file and that and then at the end it just prints it so here I have a few samples just to show that my code works and that it's like under the time limit. So let's run. See, and if we look at, like, uh, the first one was 11, so it matches. And then what was the second one? 19. And it also matches. And then if we look at the first input or output, it also matches what I put. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helped. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share it, do all that good stuff. And see you in the next video.